In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings for both PC and mobile players. The only real difference between PC and mobile players will be in this controls tab right here. So before we get to the controls tab, I'm going to go over these three other tabs. In the general tab, there's not much you need to know here other than user ID is what players might ask for if they're trying to find your profile in game. You can also find your ping right here. For me, it says NA East. This may say Europe for you or some other type of server. Right here, my ping is 45. In the graphics tab, you'll want this on low and you'll probably want all of these on off. Field of view, if you're on PC, I suggest you have this on 90 at all times. It just makes it so you can see more people on your screen at once. However, if you're on mobile, I suggest you switch this down between 70 right here and 50. I would suggest going on the lower end of that though because it makes it a lot easier to see players from further away. Because mobile players have a much smaller screen than PC players, it makes a lot of sense to lower your FOV on mobile devices. For the FPS limit, you'll probably want this on uncapped if you have a 240Hz monitor, but obviously if you have a 60Hz monitor, you'll want this on 60 and vice versa. For the edit crosshair, this is really just personal preference. This is my crosshair though if you like. The only thing I will mention here is that static and dynamic are very different. Dynamic has it so your crosshair moves anytime you shoot so it can show your bullet spread. However, I don't really like how this looks as it's pretty distracting, so I have it on static. Audio is once again just personal preference, whatever your system sounds like, you'll probably just want to tweak it to what works for you. These are my settings however, so if you want to try them out, go ahead and feel free to. Now we'll move on to the control section of the video here. We'll split this into two different parts, one for PC and one for mobile. There will be timestamps in the description, so if you are on mobile, I suggest you tap ahead to where your settings actually start. PC settings. We'll start with chat here. I have this on, but this is just personal preference, so you can have it off if you'd like. Auto sprint. I suggest you have this on. There's not really a point on having it off, as you pretty much always just want to be moving max speed. Head bob. This is mostly just an aesthetic feature in the game. I'll show you an example of what it looks like on the screen, but basically it just mimics your head bouncing up and down. Personally, I find that this is a little distracting when aiming, so I like to remove that. Sprint mode, I have this on toggle. ADS mode, I have on hold. These are all my sensitivities right here. I'm on 800 DPI, which stands for dots per inch. If you don't know what your DPI is, I would suggest going to Google and trying to search and figure out what it is. A lot of people ask me why I have my ADS sensitivity right here on 100%. I find that it's a lot easier to learn just one sensitivity across the board, so that's why I have it on 100% because it basically is just mimicking the two sensitivities above it right here. Sniper sensitivity, however, I have on 50% because that scope in is very zoomed in and it's really hard to aim if you have a high sense on that. For controls down here, the only things I have changed are the primary weapon swap and the secondary weapon swap and the equipment. The reason I have those all changed is because normally they are on 1, 2, and G. 1, 2 would be the primary secondary, and G would be your equipment. When you're clicking all three of those buttons, you have to remove one of your fingers off of WASD, which are your movement keys. This isn't really optimal because you want to make sure you have the maximum amount of movement possible while playing the game. So if you can move those to other keys that aren't using your uh, your pointer finger, your middle finger, or your ring finger, I suggest you do that. So for me, I chose my two side mouse buttons for the primary and secondary, and I chose V as my equipment slot because it's right where my thumb is on the space bar so I can just slide up and pop my stim pack or use whatever equipment I might have. Mobile settings. With the mobile settings, you're always going to want to play with aim assist on. Aim acceleration, you're going to want turned off. Head bob is similar to the PC settings, completely aesthetic, you can do what you like with it. The second fire button helps claw players out. If you like to play on claw, I suggest you turn second fire button on. Left handed mode is used for those who are left handed. Vibration, you're probably going to want this turned off because there's not really a point of having it on as it'll just make you slightly inaccurate at times when you don't want to be. Look sensitivity is one, Horizontal sensitivity and vertical, 0.6. Aiming, 34%. Sniping, 1%. I suggest you lower your aiming sensitivity multiplier as low as you can get within reason. The lower this sensitivity multiplier is, the stronger your aim assist will be. When it comes to figuring out where you want to put the buttons on your actual screen, this is one of the best presets you can use. I grabbed a few different presets from some of the top players and this was the most common one I saw. So here you'll want the joystick scale on one, you want joystick left corner, you'll want your guns on the left side of your screen, 
You want the shoot, the jump, the reload, and the equipment slot on the right side of your screen, probably looking something like this. Hopefully this helps you out. And that's all there is to having the best settings in Pixel Strike 3D. Of course, at the end of the day, this is all objective opinions. So if you find something works better for you, definitely give it a go. If this video helped you out in any way, I always appreciate a like on the video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night or whatever time it is, and I'll talk to you later.